Welcome back to episode six of Let's Talk About. Today, my very special guest is... Eric Coffey, JR. Now, Eric. Yes, my man. Nice to meet you, by the way. As it there. <laughs> I like the energy still. I like the energy. Oh, thank you, man. I appreciate yeah. it, man. So introduce yourself to the audience. Who are you? What do you do? Let them know about what you are. Uh, basically, I'm a filmmaker. Uh, we did, uh, we shot some few short films in the past, but this time we decided to take to a whole different level and shoot our first feature film called Before My Heart Stops. Ooh. It's a drama action packed. And yeah, we're going to be premiering it very soon on the 11th of September. 11th of September, that was literally my next question. So, so before my heart stops, how did that come about? What was the origin? Did you wake up one day and say, you know what, I'm bored, let's just create a movie? Or how did it come about? The thing is, I'm a big Tom Cruise fan. Okay. So I just like to, you know, just be in front of the camera, just shooting and just blasting away. But I went on some few auditions, but you normally don't get the, like, the roles you want to, you know, play. So yeah. I decided that, you know, I'm just going to write it myself, produce it myself so I could have the chance to, you know, just do some action stuff. And fantastic. I mean, I've seen the trailer. We're going to play the trailer now. And the trailer looks really good. It looks really good. It looks really appreciate interesting. It, appreciate it, and appreciate it. I, I can't wait for the world to see what you have. Appreciate so it, you said you mentioned that you wrote it. Yes. And you produced it. Yes. Um, you said Tom Cruise is a big inspiration. So was that what made you want to do it as well? Or was it more like a let me help myself as well as helping others? Uh, 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 yeah, the thing is, like, it's a bit of both because um, basically, uh, like, the main character in it called Angel, she's a singer. She's been doing it for a while. Mm -hmm. So I was like, nah, I want her in the film, but I'm going to give her the chance to show the audience what she can do. Okay. So she actually did, like, the soundtrack for the film where she's on stage singing the song. She wrote it herself with one other actor called Lippy, mm -hmm. and he raps as well, and he's in the movie as well. So the thing is with me, if I say, oh, can you be in my film? I normally ask you, or oh, what, like, are you good at? Are you good at ballet or whatever? And whatever you're good at, I try to put it in the film. So it kind of gives you the opportunity to show the audience what... What you can do. Yeah, what you could do as well. So That's it's a fantastic. bit of both. It's a bit of, you know... That's fantastic. And, you know, this, yeah. is what the, this is what people need as well. How long did it take you to film? Oh, mate. <laughs> Mike... It took us a while. I mean, like we like we took um like one whole week to shoot as much as we can, mm -hmm. and then after that, like there were some few bits missing, so we kept on kind of like going back to shoot again and to shoot again and to shoot again. And I want to say something. We're shooting like one action scene, right? I don't know if Michael told you this, but we're shooting one chasing scene, right? And we didn't ask for permits, or you know, so the SWAT team came, arrested us all, and. Yeah, you know, some few court cases was involved. I had to do a bit of probation 
and you know but it's all it's it's all part of the film you know sometimes i feel like you just have to take risk and just do what you have to do yeah i didn't know that <laughs> it's 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 crazy it's crazy i didn't know that it's crazy I mean, like, I mean, that's yeah that is crazy um okay cool so let's move on to some more random questions for you what is something that you've discovered when making films i've noticed that things don't go exactly the way you plan it some people show up late like really late so then that changes everything and sometimes i don't know just the location just changes the way you wrote the script mm -hmm. and the thing is this is independent there's not a lot of money behind us mm -hmm. so we can't really do the things that we really want to do so we have to kind of improvise and just work around it work well. around it yeah. imagine the weather must play a the weather must sometimes. play yeah because the thing about my films is i try to show outdoor scenes as much as i can i don't like the whole indoors too much i like to yeah. just show the environment the atmosphere yeah. so if it's raining then that means you know it you can't do harder. anything yeah where do you see yourself in the next six months the next six months hopefully we'll be shooting our uh, part two of before my heart stops because there's a part two for it so basically all the mistakes we did for the first one we're gonna make sure we don't do for the for the second one and we're gonna try focus more on the short films as well okay. we've got some few short because i like doing short because it's kind of like straight mm -hmm. to the point so we're going to be doing a bit of that too. Okay. And just, yeah, just having fun, really. I see, see. Lots just of interesting fun. stuff going on. Yeah. Speaking of interesting stuff, what's on your bucket list? Is there anything wild or random that you want to do that not many people would think about? Or that's something that, you know, you really want to do, but you never had the chance to? Nothing, nothing major. I just want to be, I just want to be heard. I just want people to see my work and what we're doing. Okay. So that's like one of my main things because a lot of effort and energy and sacrifice was put into this film. Not just me, but the other actors and, yeah. and you know, the, like the cameramen and everything, including Michael, you know, the whole police film who got arrested. Michael. Michael, Michael was part of it too. And, and one inspirational thing is like, you see, um, when we got arrested, right, I think I was in the cell for like, not long, like let's say eight hours, right? So I was the first person to come out and later on, I think like an hour later, the rest of the guys, cause we were like all eight or something, they all came out. And the first thing they said to me is like, look, don't let this stop you. We're still gonna finish this movie. It's just a little setback. So a lot of people really supported this film for it to get to where it's at now. And I would like to do uh, a Tom Cruise movie too. Maybe Mission Impossible. Is it nine or is it seven? <laughs> I think it's on seven or nine. I can't remember, but I like to be in it. So if Tom Cruise, if you're watching this, mate, let me be in it. Feel me? your boy up. Big me up, man. I will go. You go may not be in prison. Shooting, action. Mate, I'm just into action, mate. You know what I mean? I like the drama stuff. Don't get me wrong, but shooting action films is really fun. I can so. imagine, yeah. I can imagine. That's what's up. Man. Where can people where can people find you or your work online or in social media? Uh, not hard to find me. If you go on Instagram, it's Eric Kofi Jr. If you go on YouTube, it's Eric Kofi Jr. We got a website for Before My Heart Stops. It's www.beforemyheartstops.com. Check out our uh, the Facebook page Before My Heart Stops. That's a move we're pushing now. So yeah, check it out. You know where to find it. Um, what is something nobody slash not many people know about you? Mm. Well, that's a good question, you know. I'm full of good questions. I don't know. I think everyone knows whatever they want to know about me, I think. I don't know. I'm, tr I'm, I'm trying to think, but I can't think of anything. Nah, I can't think of anything. Can't think of anything. Right now. But if I do, I'll get back to it, though. But, you know yeah. what? This might have been the first time that I asked someone a question. Oh, then I need to answer this. <laughs> Hold on, what's the question again? Something that... What is something nobody slash not many people know about you? <sighs> I have to come up with an answer. All right. Um, I'm a very positive guy and I don't let anything stop me. If I say I'm going for something, I might come across as a bit negative at the beginning or whatever. By the end, I go for it. So... Okay. 
Hopefully that answers the question. Yeah, no, that answered it. I was about to say, this was about to be a first time where I asked someone a question. That's a real pressure. I had answer. to say something, mate. I had to say something. <laughs> I thought you would be saying Be like, I'd be singing like Adele in the shower or something. <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> Guilty no, no, pleasures no, no, or whatever. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay, what is the visions for the films you do? The visions are saying... As in, like, what is your, your goal... For the visions you do, like before your heart stops, obviously you put a lot of time, work, effort, blood, sweat, and time into it. So, what is your vision for it? Where do you see it going? Who do you want to put it in front of? Who do you want to see it? Where do you want to go with it? I think I just want as many people that can watch it to watch it and to know the potential that we got mm. in the team, not just me, but the people that were all involved that look. Even though we don't have a lot of budget, this is what we can do. So if we got budget, we could do something even better. So it's just to show people that this is what I can do without any help. Mm-hmm. And with a bit of help, we could take to a whole do different more. level. Okay, I, I can respect yeah. that. Do you see yourself going into like um, colleges or anything like that with your films? Um, I mean, I've put in it into like some few film festivals for mm. now. So hopefully that will open some doors and then we'll just take it from there. Okay, cool. Yeah. That's fantastic. So what advice would you want to give people who want to do what you do or are inspired by you? I'll say whatever you want to do, don't like there's no perfect time to do it. Mm. So just pick up a camera and just go for it. Just take that big jump because there's not ever going to be a perfect time to say, oh, this is the perfect time to shoot it. You just have to yeah, just exactly. dive in. I've learned that firsthand as well. It's definitely it's not mate, easy, definitely. but if you don't do it, you know, you just... And there are going to be loads of like obstacles that's going to mm. come in the way, but you shouldn't let that stop you. You should just keep keep going. If you it. want it bad enough, I feel like you, you would work for it. You know, you've got to overcome every single obstacle that's in your way. If you want exactly. it bad enough, but this is on you. Exactly. So other than Tom Cruise. Yes. Who slash what else inspires you? Um, what's this guy's name? Michael Blake, the guy that did Batman, okay. the last Batman. He's like one of my main uh, actors as well, because it's not just action. He's really good at drama as well. Mm-hmm. So yeah, those are the type of people that I just you know look up to. Okay, and this spins me off to another question. If you could work with one director, who would you work with? Oh, uh, what's his name? James James Cameron. The guy that did Terminator, yeah. Titanic, yeah. and uh, yeah. Avatar. Avatar. That's it, Avatar. He's like one director that I would definitely love to work with. Fantastic. Because he started from nothing. He used to be like, I watch a lot of interviews. He used mm-hmm. to be a truck driver, and he just quit one day and just went straight into directing. So. If you don't start, you never know, guys. So James. <laughs> okay. If you're watching this. Exactly. Hit your boy up. Okay, Shut me out, last man. question, and I want you to think. I want you to think deeply about this. If you got a grant for one million pounds to spend on a film, what type of genre would you do? Um, I'll say action, mm-hmm. but it has to make sense. It has to be something that the like the younger kids can learn from. There has to be some sort of message in it for the kids to learn something from we're gonna make it action you know to make it fun Mm -hmm. but it has to be something that the kids can learn from because i think that's really important yeah fantastic i mean that's that's great i mean that's i really do appreciate all of the the inspiring stuff man and yeah you're so humble man he's acting like he's loving (laughs) (laughs) so one more time for the people who want to find um your work who you are on social media where can they find you if you go on facebook it's eric coffee jr i seen jr Kofi, K-O-F-I, and Eric, E-R-I-C, both on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, all of that. You see a bit of the short films we've done so far and the up-and-coming ones that we're about to do. Fantastic. Yeah. And then my last question to you is, where do you see yourself in the next five years? You know, in the next five years, if I could be doing filming mm-hmm. full-time, mm-hmm. that would be great. That's the aim, so we'll see. What, like a director role or actor or directing but i like to be in front of the cameras too so a bit of both or to have like a stanley a of, bit of both a yeah, cameo a just... bit of both. more behind the cameras but okay. i still have to you know yeah be in the action okay bit. fantastic that's it that's eric it. 
It's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you so much for coming on nice the show. Nice to meet you, yeah. All the best, bro. Appreciate it, appreciate That's it. That's episode six wrapped and done. See you in the next one.